Clash of the Castle is this Saturday at 7 p.m. UK time. We're here to predict the card. Five matches. Are you right or am I right? Get in the comments. Let's find out. So to start off with, we have Say uh, his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Cause we love him in London and Paris and Tokyo. America, Scotland and Canada and Mexico. They say, I believe in Joe Hendry. Believe in Joe Hendry. Look, we've all seen the clip Joe Hendry posted of him on an airplane going somewhere. He could be on his way to Scotland. And hey, I just want to hear this one time. I mean, I want to hear it multiple times, but go on. Before we even start the show properly, let's just go boom. Say his name. Let him appear because everyone believes in Joe Hendry. <laughs> So we're going to start with the women's tag team championship match where Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair will defend the women's tag team championships against the team of Zoe Stark and Shayna Baszler and Unholy Union, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. Unfortunately, I do think that Jade Cargill and Bianca Belair will retain their tag team champions by probably beating Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Though I really would love to see Isla Dawn and Alba Fire win those tag team titles because the crowd are going, <laughs> they will go insane. And then next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship match between the champions, Sami Zayn and Chad Gable, who's doing his best work right now as this controlling, manipulative, naughty boy, which I love. It's great. It's so good to see. And I think the only way to go is to finally have Chad Gable win the Intercontinental Championship. Chad Gable needs this win under his belt to justify him being an absolute arsehole. Next up, we have the WWE Women's Championship match where Bailey would defend the championship against Scotland's own Piper Niven. I know firsthand how dominant Piper is. I've shared the ring with Piper Niven back when I used to wrestle as a pro wrestler. I'm not afraid to say that she whipped my cheeks too. She could easily take that championship off of Bailey. And again, like I said, with the women in a tag team match, I really want Piper to win this match. I just don't think she will. I think somehow Chelsea Green might just slip up once more. <laughs> because that's what Chelsea does. Bailey will retain this championship. Next up, we have undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes defending his championship against AJ Styles in an I Quit match. Now I am in, I am completely split on this one. Cody Rhodes having a good championship run at the moment, but I feel Cody could do with doing something. And I think he should chase championship gold yet again. I, I really, really, really want AJ Styles to win this match. And I am actually putting my neck out there. And I'm going to say AJ Styles will beat Cody Rhodes in an I quit match. Now, whether AJ Styles beats Cody Rhodes by making Cody say I quit is a different matter. Look, we can do the whole rock and mankind thing where you get this really bad audio that plays that says I quit. And, again, and then AJ Styles walks out with a championship. But I really, really... I, I really think that AJ Styles will actually beat Cody Rhodes in this match. And you're probably thinking, Ben, you're crazy. He's going to keep the title to The Rock comes back or to Roman comes back. And yeah, you're probably right about that. But I think AJ, AJ Styles needs this. And then, which will no doubt be the main event of the night, it will be your World Heavyweight Championship match. Drew McIntyre will challenge the champion, Damian Priest, for the World Heavyweight Championship. And the Judgment Day are barred from ringside. That's great, right? This has never happened before for Drew McIntyre. Only in 2022 when, you know, <laughs> there were no bloodline and then Solo Sokoa went and yeet, and then Drew McIntyre lost. Now, listen, we are in Scotland. I know what the Scottish are like. Yeah. Drew McIntyre should walk out as your world heavyweight champion in front of his home country. Because if not, they may very well be riots. Now, I've seen it all. It was, oh yeah, we're saying Punk's probably going to be there. It's going to cost him the match. They will get Punk too. They will get Punk too. Punk's going to better get his Jack Perry beating skills up ready to take on the whole of Scotland. I, I, I want Drew McIntyre to win. You know what? I'm going to say that Drew McIntyre wins the World Heavyweight Championship. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. But Drew McIntyre will walk out the World Heavyweight Champion despite CM Punk interfering. Despite the Judgment Day interfering, even though they're banned from ringside, they don't stop anybody. 
but Drew will be the ultimate, the ultimate good guy, the ultimate babyface, if you want to say that. He will be the man and dethrone Damien Priest against all the odds, whilst the faithful Scottish crowd cheer that man on. Am I wrong? Do you not agree with me? Well, let me know in those comments. Tell me in the comments if you don't agree with me. But well, that's, that's what I think is going to happen. That's my Clash of the Castle predictions. And Joe Henry will definitely appear. Hey, if you enjoyed this, consider giving this video a like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye now.